Once again, the area of a triangle. So let me give you guys a triangle here. I'm going to write down a triangle. If I'm looking for the area of a triangle, it's going to be length times width divided by 2. Length times width gives me a rectangle. But then divided by 2, it, it is because a triangle is half of a rectangle. So that's why we divide by 2. Okay, so length times width, remember the length and the width, they intersect at 90 degrees. So they make that little 90 degree box. So I see my 90 degree box is right there. That box sometimes will be inside of the triangle, sometimes it will be outside of the triangle. And I can tell it is made by 9 and 10. So I'm going to multiply 9 times 10, and my result I'll divide it by 2. Use a calculator if you need to. 9 times 10 is 90, and 90 divided by 2 gives me 45. At this level, I don't need to worry about measurements. I don't want you guys to worry about measurements yet. So our answer in this case is just 45. Let's take a look at question number 4. Look for the 90-degree symbol, that little box. Those two numbers that intersect at the 90-degree uh, box those are the length and the width. In the little box, it is made by 5.2 and 10.6. So I'm just going to go 5.2 times 10.6, and my result, I'll divide it by 2. So 5.2 times 10.6, that gives me 55.12, divided by 2, that gives me 27.56. Lastly, let's take a look at question number six. Look for the 90 degree symbol. Look for the little box. It is okay if the little box is outside of the triangle. These measurements that make the 90 degree symbol are 6.3 and 6. So I'm just going to go 6.3 times 6 divided by 2. 6.3 times 6, that gives me 37.8 divided by 2, my answer is 18.9. Don't think you have to use every number. There's an 11. I never used it. I'm just going to go length times width divided by 2. Length and width are the two numbers that intersect at 90 degrees. 